this test is on corrugated board, cardboard. The test is 30, the ASTM 3806. The test is normally takes four minutes. We're going to run this test for slightly more than four minutes to show you the effectiveness of flame safe's coating on corrugated board. The particular coating that we're using in this particular test is Fire Poly FP75I. Periodically, during this test, I will sh be shutting off the light so you can better see the flame as it attacks the substrate that has been treated with the fire poly. It is important to take note during this test of the intermittence that occurs from the heat transfer to the reverse side of the board. If you'll notice it, it creates a protective blister that would prote protect any other substrate that might this board may be attached to. This test is normally conducted in a chamber that has windows on the outside. 
similar to the ASTM E84 test. However, in this particular case, we are doing it without being in the chamber for visibility. This time we're going to remove the, the flame from the underside. And turn the board over to show you that there is no residual flame. That is, there is no afterburning. If you take note of the high end emissance that's created. On the reverse side, you can see the protective blister that is created. This is very important for the combustible liquids code known as the NFPA 30 standard. That is where combustible liquids are put into cardboard containers. This test is sometimes known as the equivalency test for the NFPA 255, the UL 723 and the ASTM E84. This test was originally performed at Monsanto and is sometimes called the Monsanto test. 